this team of horses. Okay. So I'm getting 25 a month for my team of horses too. Okay. So. Not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. You got to you come up to camp and you got horses and and stuff and you can lease them on. And I'm not sure I'm gonna I, you know if you're gonna bring a team up here. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the age of what that team is on whether or not you drive. Or not. There's a reason for that because anything that happens to a horse, because the company only owns six of the horses for us to rent them. Anything that happens to that horse, company has to pay for it. Under most contractors, under my contract, that's $175 to replace that horse. So if you come up here, well, let's say you come up and you had a team of 14 year olds, and they're getting at the end of their prime, you might be looking for a new team. I might not let you drive your team. So it depends, Max. Anybody tell me what kind of horses they are? No. Percheron. Huh? Percheron. It's a horse. Percheron. Percherons, right. Yeah. Percheron was the first heavy horse to come over to America. They were about 12 years ahead of all the other breeds. Most of the horses you would see working up here in the North Woods would be Percheron breeding. You want to pet the horses or take pictures, you're sure welcome. They're both friendly. This is Luke. He's eight years old. This is Max. He's seven years old. Here. The barn is also built to kind of protect the horses. You notice there's air spaces between the logs and everything, the skylights. So at night when the horses come in, we're going to close up the big doors. And the manure and from the body heat of the horses, temperature is going to come up in the barn. We'll open up the skylights. It's going to let the moisture smell the air out and bring fresh air and pass the horses' faces all the time. So we always so have fresh air house? for the horses. You need to use that in the Come. bunkhouse. Huh? <laughs> so you, use, you need to use that Mouse method in the bunkhouse. <laughs> well, I really, you know, uh, I think this is the second best smelling building in camp. And you come up here about an hour after the sun goes down, you go to the bunkhouse. You gotta remember, we're eight weeks into the season. And I ain't seen anybody taking a bath, including me. That's why I stay far away from you folks. <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you sleep as the barnkeeper? Huh? Where do you sleep? Do you sleep in this? Where? No, they won't let me sleep down you in sleep this in? one. They make me sleep up in that smelly one there, and by God, I'm right by the door. The bunk, <clears throat> the bull cook, the Teamsters, and I are going to be the first ones woke up in the morning. We're going to come down here, the Teamsters are going to take their teams that they drive. They're going to take them down to the river for water. While they're doing that, I'm going to get their grain rationed out for them. By the time they come back, they're going to put them in their stalls. They'll probably get them brushed because each teamster has to brush and curry his own horses every morning. By the time that's done, Gabriel's going to blow. They're going to go up for breakfast. They're going to come back down here. <coughs> Takes them about approximately five eh, to ten minutes at the most to harness up their teams and they're out of here. Then my work starts. Now i got to get it cleaned in about two, two and a half hours or it's going to start freezing down on me. So, now I get to, hey, there's different things during the day I'm going to do. If they're short, happen to be short of Teamster or somebody's playing blanket fever or something, you know, I might have to go out and drive horses or, you know. Uh, I'm around usually to take the swing dingle out at noon, you know, and the horses. So. Anybody have any other questions or anything? When, uh... When lumberjacks get sick, uh, how long are they allowed to uh, sleep it off before the the company says you got you got? Depends leave. on what what they got. Okay. What it is, but no, nah, the company usually isn't gonna throw them out. You know, hope they get that well enough to come back to work. You know. Mm -hmm. Do they have a doctor in sight? Huh? Do they have a doctor? Right? Well, I do some of it. Uh, <laughs> <the modes. laughs> I got some pretty good healing powder powders and everything here and, and uh, like if, you know like, yeah a lot of stuff that'll happen guys will get scratched and cut and stuff like that and I got powders and stuff and I'll use that so when a horse comes in see it so you know, when a horse comes in eh, he might get nicked up in the woods or a branch or you know maybe he gets cut with a cork or something I'll use the other side of the can. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean the horses, I meant uh, people when they yeah. get sick. Right, I'm the doctor for the people. Oh. <laughs> same principle. Same, same principle. Yeah. Same way. Uh, <laughs> if they're real bad, they got to get out. Uh, it depends on how wet, when the tote sleigh's coming in. You know, it's 35 miles from town. It's a two day trip. 
So. You mentioned you got 25 a month for the team. Are you paying for their fee?